My name is Dr. Hussein Baga. I'm a consultant physician and kidney specialist working here at the MP Shah Hospital in Nairobi, Kenya. Today is the 14th of March, 2024, and it is indeed a big day for us because today is a World Kidney Day. The World Kidney Day is commemorated to create awareness about kidney disease, to create awareness about our kidneys, and to inform people how amazing our kidneys are. Worldwide, we have more than 850 million people living with chronic kidney disease. We need to see how we can reduce the incidence and prevalence of chronic kidney disease worldwide, as well as in Sub-Saharan Africa and in Kenya. We have been blessed with two kidneys, and the kidneys perform very important functions in the body. The kidneys are located in the back, where I'm pointing, they're not here, okay? And the functions of the kidneys include to remove the toxins from the body that are being generated uh, every day. They also help to regulate the fluid or the water in the body by removing the excess water. They help to regulate your electrolytes like potassium, like calcium, like sodium, which are very important in the normal functions of the body. They help to regulate your acid, which is found in the blood to make sure that um, it is within the normal uh, levels. They are also important for uh, synthesizing certain hormones like vitamin D and also help to regulate your blood levels, meaning your hemoglobin levels. So what causes chronic kidney disease? The most common cause of chronic kidney disease is hypertension and diabetes. So it is the same everywhere in the world and it is the same here in Kenya as well. We have quite a number of patients who have high blood pressure or hypertension and diabetes, and more than 50% of them tend to develop chronic kidney disease. The other risk factors for chronic kidney disease include obesity. We are seeing more and more people uh, becoming obese and living with obesity, and this is a risk factor for developing chronic kidney disease. The other risk factor is if you have a family member with chronic kidney disease, then your risk of developing chronic kidney disease becomes higher. Other risk factors include um, HIV, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and also over-the-counter medications like taking the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like brufen, diclofenac, or herbal medicines. So it is very important for us to remember that these medications, the painkillers and the herbal medicines are not good for the kidneys. How does one know if he or she has chronic kidney disease? So if you are at risk, if you have any of the risk factors that I have mentioned, like diabetes, like high blood pressure, if you are overweight or obese, or if you have a family history of chronic kidney disease, especially the genetic ones like polycystic kidney disease or if you have HIV, hepatitis B or hepatitis C then it is important that you inform your healthcare provider that you need your kidneys to be checked. And how do we do that? It is very simple. We just do a blood test to check some chemical in the body called the creatinine and we also do a urine test to check for any proteins or any blood in the urine. And if any of this is found to be positive, then further tests like imaging or what we call an ultrasound is done of the kidneys and some further tests are done. When kidney di disease is diagnosed early, we can put in measures. We have uh, medication that can help to slow down the progression of chronic kidney disease so that we don't reach end-stage kidney disease. So it is very important to go for regular checkups for your kidneys. How do we keep our kidneys healthy? We need to make sure that we eat a healthy and a balanced diet. We need to exercise regularly. We need to keep ourselves well hydrated, especially in this hot weather. 
And if you have any of the risk factors like diabetes or high blood pressure, we need to make sure that we control our blood sugars, we control our blood pressures, and we go for regular checkups to our healthcare providers. Remember our kidneys are amazing and we need to keep them functioning so that we don't reach end stage kidney disease and require either dialysis or a kidney transplant. Thank you very much.